One to talk about this latest development in the Senate race, as well as some new poll numbers that are out we want to tell you about with Local 24 political analyst and commentator Otis Sanford. Otis, in this age where everyone has a camera and candidates post Facebook videos all the time of their appearances, I mean, these cheerleaders said her name three times. Is it, are we making too much out of this? <laughs> Well, I mean, some people would think so. I think probably uh, Marsha Blackburn supporters think so. But, uh, you know, the University of Memphis is a, is a public university. And full disclosure, I work there full time. Uh, I think that they uh, had a duty uh, to ask the Blackburn campaign to take down the video. Uh, I think in this case, the Spirit Squad was uh, sort of used in a, in a way. Uh, I think they were saying, Marsha, 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 the way you say cheese when you're taking a picture. Uh, I don't think they knew uh, that it was going to wind up on a, on a uh, Facebook page, and I think the university did the smart thing. But we have a new poll out in this race. This time it's from CNN, and it shows Phil Bredesen up five points, 50 to 45 percent. Now, we've had some back and forth in the two other recent polls in the last couple of weeks, but this is the first where either candidate is beyond the, uh, the margin of error here. Yeah, and this is a significant poll, Richard. Uh, the company that uh, did this poll for CNN, SSRS, uh, has a strong reputation. They've worked for both Democrats and Republicans. Uh, and this is a poll that I think is believable. I think that uh, Marsha Blackburn did not do any favors by uh, not doing a debate here in West Tennessee in Shelby County. I think she has, uh, again, hitched her wagon to President Trump, and I think his popularity is going down the drain. And even Republicans are saying that uh, Phil Bredesen is running a very, very smart campaign, and his ads are, are, are really good. And to that point, Trump's uh, approval numbers are really split uh, in Tennessee now, 49-48. That's right. Uh, let's talk about the governor's race for a minute. That same poll shows the race tightening a little, but still gives Bill Lee a nine-point lead, 52 to 43. Dean said, hey, I was down 20 points, 13 points not that long ago. This race is tightening. It's tightening some. Uh, and I think, you know, if you look at momentum, maybe he thinks he has some. Uh, but uh, Bill Lee, you know, he's over 50 percent. Uh, it's going to be a real uphill climb for him to, uh, uh, I think, to overtake uh, Bill, uh, for Dean to overtake Lee. One more thing uh, on this race. Both Dean and Lee uh, were in Cordova today talking to dozens of ministers at Hope Church about their faith. Uh, cameras were not allowed, but afterwards both men got more personal than we usually see candidates get. Let's watch. I'm Catholic, so I, I'm a regular church goer. But it's also a part of my life I don't talk about as much. It's, 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 it's private to me and, you know, each to his own, but that's the way I've handled that. Yeah, that's the most important thing in my life, and it's a part of who I am, so it certainly will always be that. So explain why in the heat of the campaign, both candidates for governor would make the time to come here for this with no media present. Well, we're in the Bible Belt, Richard, and uh, so I'm not surprised by this. Um, you know, you're trying to get every vote that you can, and any, either one of them who didn't go, uh, it would have hurt them in the campaign. I'm not surprised by that at all. All right, very good. Otis, thank you so much for being here tonight. We'll see you soon. Thank you. All right, later, my